What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here, and in this video, uh, I'm gonna show you how to set up and use Stream Savers on your stream. Uh, so you can see Stream Savers is running right now on screen, and um, we have some options of, of where it goes as well. So right now, it's behind chat messages, but they're in front of me um, on the screen, so that whenever they walk by me, they're actually going to be um, in front of me on the screen. So let's see what that means. If I drag this over here, and then minimize this again, he's in front of me on the screen. We can of course change that by just raising or lowering the layer. So if we drop the layer below our webcam, the characters are behind me. If we drop the webcam um, below the stream savers, stream savers will show up on front. So that's basically how stream savers works on stream when it's running. But how do we get to this point? Let's go ahead and remove stream savers from here. And then close the game out and start from scratch. <coughs> we can see that um, Stream Saver is disconnected and um, left an angel thump in chat. Let's go ahead and click on play within the game itself, or within Steam, I should say. And Stream Savers will open full screen uh, or in a window, but sized as full screen. So we can press Alt Enter and it would go full screen. Um, and we need to basically connect to Twitch to let the game um, listen to your chat. So what you're going to do is click on Idle RPG with Twitch. Now, the first thing it's going to ask you is your channel name. That's your username with a hashtag before it. So in my case, it's hashtag, it's Mike the Tech. Now, the bot name is the uh, either your username or a bot account that you've created and have access to. So that one for me is it's Mike the Tech as well. And then this is your OAuth password. You get this password by going to twitchapps.com slash TMI and copying that password once you give it the authorization. You paste this OAuth into this box right here and press OK, and the game will start. Um, the first thing you want to do is purchase an egg. You're given enough coins to buy an egg, and an egg will drop, and you'll see a timer. We can see that this is a rare egg because it's glowing. There's a timer that says in 126 seconds, the egg will hatch. So we can just go ahead and minimize that and um, set it up in OBS. So let's click on Add Source. And we're going to choose Game Capture. Ours is a game. We're going to name this Stream Savers. And you can see that it automatically detected Stream Savers. Now, it shows up as a black background, but we can click on Allow Transparency. And the way Stream Savers is coded it will actually erase everything else except for the sprites on screen. So that's exactly what we want. It's as easy as that. Now Stream Savers is running in your um, stream and you can drag it wherever you'd like, put um, it below chat, below your webcam, whatever you like. And then once your character hatches, it will start idly walking around and attacking enemies on screen. Um, we can see that this one is about to hatch, it looks like. Actually, no, it's, it's pretty far away, but thankfully, we do have some features that we can use um, so I can speed up this process for you. I'm going to open up the game and talk about the save and load feature. To save the game, all you have to do is press S, and it will save all characters and enemies and anything else on your screen for next time. To load those characters, you press L, and your character will load. You can see that my character is here. It's Mike the Tech, and this is the one that I was using earlier, so he remains here. He will continue walking around on stream, attacking characters, um, and eventually collecting coins so that you can purchase more eggs. Um, you can manually control them by dragging them with your mouse. Like if I wanted just to quickly kill the snail, we can just force them into each other, kind of, and you know make them fight until, boom. It dies, and a bunch of coins are released. So we have bronze coins, uh, silver coins that are worth 10, and gold coins that are worth 100. And those will help um, you collect and purchase more eggs. If you don't walk around long enough, the coins will eventually collect themselves as well. Um, there are some ways to uh, decorate your stream as well. If you click on this shopping cart, you can not only purchase more eggs if you want a specific egg, we can also purchase platforms and decorations. So if I purchase a platform, it ends up here, and these controls let you move it around your stream and resize it and make it look however you want it to look. Um, you can also remove them by hitting this minus and clicking on it and it'll delete it. 
Uh, so let's go ahead and add a few things here. Let's add a tree. Uh, let's move the tree. Let's resize the tree. Let's see, that looks good. Let's move it over here. Uh, maybe add one of these. So now we have a nice little platform here. There's also items, decorations, and things like that that you can purchase. And your characters can walk on them. So when a new enemy spawned, they can land on this platform and hang out there as well. If we minimize this, we can see that that platform shows up on screen here. So if you have a uh, webcam that's a square, you could potentially put a platform there so that enemies land on your webcam. And that kind of makes a fun dynamic as well. Um, once the game's running connected to, Steam, to your stream, you can actually use Twitch to interact as well. So let's go ahead and go into my chat here. And you can see that Stream Savers has connected. Um, if we type in exclamation point enemy, a new enemy drops and it's named after the chatter who typed it. So that enemy is named It's Mike the Tech because I typed it, but anyone else who typed it, it would show their name. You can also type potion and a potion will drop that if the character collects it, which luckily it did, it heals up as well. That was a great kind of timing. It, it landed perfect for it. If we type in coin drop, um, a bunch of coins will drop into the screen and give the streamer a little bit more uh, a chance to buy more eggs. So more coins equals more eggs equals more characters. So it gets more exciting and more fun to watch. Um, beyond that, when you get a raid, um, planning to have a raid boss drop in and your characters will have to fight against the raid boss to collect new items, uh, new swords, new weapons, more a ton of coins and a ton of experience as well. Speaking of experience, all of your characters can level up. So if we go back to the game and right click on a character, we can see that this character is level three and has 29 health and 14 attack power. As the character levels up more, um, let's go ahead and kill one of these snails. Let's kill another snail. Uh, still not enough. Let's kill, oh, we need one more XP, so get over here. Fight. Okay, now it's level four, has 35 health and 17 attack power. So your characters do get stronger as they go along. And over time, bosses will also drop um, once enough time has passed to let your characters level up. Um, but that's about it. That's how Stream Savers works on um, stream. And we can go ahead and close this by right clicking on it. Um, you can again, save the game by pressing S and load the game by pressing L and it will load all the characters back onto your screen for your next um, stream setup. And uh, there will be more and more interactions from chat. I'm adding more commands every day and um, hopefully we can turn this into a really fun game. Thank you for being an early supporter and I look forward to growing the game with you guys. Conversations to games to interviews with a broader view. He keeps it fresh, always brings something new. That's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah. Mike the Tech, the architect, huh?